Yeah, uh, I just wanted to do a very quick update on the Corpus Christi Sovereign Citizen diet pill case that I've been covering for, I know this is, it's almost three years. Uh, we've, I've been covering it since uh, before they were indicted, uh, after they were indicted, uh, after they got arrested, uh, after she, the, the woman got sent to uh, uh, psych ward. Uh, anyways, uh, there's an update on the case today, uh, June 18th. Uh, Corpus Christi, a 35-year-old Corpus Christi woman, has pleaded guilty to one count of possessing a controlled substance with the intent to distribute and one count of receiving a misbranded drug in interstate commerce. Uh, Vanessa Gonzalez was one of the owners of X20, a store selling dietary supplements online. Uh, as the, the whole history of the drug. Uh, today, Gonzalez admitted she knowingly possessed and sold diet drugs containing sabutramine. She acknowledged she imported the drugs from China and sold them through the X20 store in Corpus Christi. Uh, sentencing is September 17th at 5 p.m. She is facing six years in federal prison and fines of $350,000. Uh, and important point here, she has been and will remain in custody pending uh, that hearing. Uh, so uh, she has been in jail hmm, since last year. So I'd have to check. Uh, I'm going I'm to say she's been in, uh, in jail for a year. A little bit of that was in the uh, psych ward. Uh... Oh, the other thing is uh, the boyfriend was released from jail uh, this month, I think a week or two ago. Uh, so we'll see what happens uh, at the sentencing. The boyfriend got uh, 12 months, but since she was the head on show, maybe she'll get more time in jail. Uh, no actual information on what's going on with kids. Uh, I'm guessing they sent the kids off with family. So, uh, because, but the parents were both in jail, so, uh, 